talking all about beauty tips to enhance our appearance and tips I've learned throughout the year and even recently to level up my beauty to kind of enhance my appearance. We're not only going to talk about makeup, but we're also going to talk about how to feel more confident and how to just like level that up. So before I never really cared about my appearance, I felt like, oh, you know, if other people take me as I am, like they could just do that. It doesn't really matter how I look. If they don't like me, it's their problem. But it's more than that. It's something about like just taking care of yourself, your hair, your nails, even doing like makeup. You don't have to, but just in whatever way that you feel, once I started doing that, I felt more confident. That actually started in college. I felt inspired by just like walking to class and I'm like, this girl looks put together. Like I'm so inspired by like, she smells good. She looks good. She looks confident. Maybe if I put a little bit of effort in my appearance, maybe I'll feel more confident. Everything that I've learned now is so much better and helps me just feel, again, confident. Okay, let's get started. Tip number one is take care of your nails. Just have some type of routine. Make sure your nails are always done. Always have like a nail polish just like full so like it's not chipping or anything like that. When I see someone with their nails, then I just know they take care of themselves. Like it can be at home. It doesn't even have to be at the salon. I know I get mine done like monthly but you know i actually just started this year january of 2023 i started i got it from my graduation which was in december then i kept it till january and then january to february and february is my birthday and then since then each month i've been doing it and i love it i love when my nails are done it just helps me feel so put together but it doesn't have to be acrylics it could be short just you could do it at home with like nail polish i remember when i was in college i couldn't afford to go to the nail salon every single month so what i would do is i had like a gel set for like 20 dollars from amazon and i would do mine every month just to feel put together i would just like put on the nail glue and then cut it all the way short and then just paint my nails put on the UV light and my nails lasted actually like two to three weeks but that was just like one way that helped me feel better like in college having my nails is my way and if you don't feel confident just having nails and you just don't even want to put nail polish nothing just make sure you know your hands are moisturized your nails look good your cuticles are cut and it's just moisturized just because I know a lot of people have jobs where you can't even paint your nails and in whatever way always have your nails done it's very presentable you take care of yourself so take care of your nails my next tip i actually learned the past couple of years is setting spray and setting powder is key for your makeup if i did not put anything and just left my concealer i would crease because i have like foldables under my eyes where like my eyes can crease the concealer can crease just because of how my eyes are like when i turn when i look down once i bought setting powder and also setting spray but setting powder it just makes everything look so flawless i actually have like a dent here but once i put that on it just it literally changed my makeup and my favorite one is i have the huda beauty the laura mercier and the one size but the one size i have to say beats all of them i got the small one just to try it i still use it because i don't wear makeup that much when i do i always put this right after my concealer i put this on my concealer doesn't crease it looks airbrushed and i also put it on with beauty blender and just like smooth it on so it's not clumping just put it under and let me just tell you it just it will level up your makeup so i highly highly recommend the one size but that's just my favorite when i bought the setting spray which was like a couple years ago the first one i bought was morphe now i use the charlotte tilbury anytime i put on setting spray that ashiness kind of goes away right after i'm done with my face it just looks ashy but like once i put this on it just makes it look so dewy and then right after i put the setting spray i like a fan i just kind of put the fan like this and it just kind of like sets and marinates that makeup and so i wish i learned about this prom makeup high school makeup graduation high school i didn't know none of this so i looked ashy walking down the stage but setting spray and powder powerful duo the next tip i'll say i've already said it before but remove your makeup take care of what's under it because you won't always be wearing makeup so take care of your skin first before adding things and today i'm actually partnering with hemish and they sent me a box which i'm gonna unbox with you guys but i take this out of the box so they sent me two of their daylism smudge stop mascara and then one is for volume one is just regular i actually had the I actually have the mascara on and I put it on as I was putting on my makeup and so I actually have it on right now and one thing I noticed is that it's not very clumpy so as I was putting it on it was separating the hair 
and it actually gave me volume because I have length I kind of struggled volume and they also sent me their all clean balm it's a clean and comfortable beauty intensive cleansing balm I love cleansing balms that's one thing I've added this year and I'm actually excited to try this because as I was reading it the ingredients seemed like something that I would like in my skincare it's said to melt the makeup and it just looks like a balm if you could see I took this off and then they also have like these small spoons so you could just put it on your face and it's easy to take off and then the last thing they sent me is their collagen enriched moisturizer and it's plant-based collagen I think what drew me to this is that their ingredients is very clean and I'm trying to lean more to that skincare but especially like with makeup like mascara I haven't been able to find mascara that's like right for me so this is how I use all these products i start with the all clean balm to take off my makeup before washing my face and doing my skincare routine so i start by doing this putting it together and when i put it on my face it actually started taking it off as soon as i did that so they were right about melting the makeup and what i noticed is that it doesn't leave oil residue or it didn't irritate my skin too because usually sometimes it burns like when i try new balm this one did not have that it's also vegan so no animal testing and it's made with natural vegetable essential oil for a soft and mild feel to it and let me just say this was the easiest removal for my mascara the mascara itself you could just put hot water and take it off the first time i did this i thought my lashes were falling off so i was scared but it's actually made to do that after washing my face i put on the collagen and rich moisturizer this was very light moisturizing doesn't have a heavy smell which i'm really big on that it's also moisturizing and helps the skin elasticity so this is an all-in-one moisturizer so after your toner you could just put this on and call it a night my face felt so soft but more than that my makeup was off the next tip i'll say is lip care lip care is one of the most important things to me i feel like if i have cracked lips i don't feel moisturized i don't feel good i don't feel put together and that's mostly in the winter so i gotta do like extra tlc in the winter if i have lip gloss on and just like throughout the day i just feel like that girl it's like that clean girl look wear and reapply lip gloss throughout the whole day whether it's chapstick lip gloss make sure you don't have like that white thing around your mouth and i feel like what causes that is not lipstick chapstick I feel like if you leave that for a long time, it does something with your mouth that causes that white thing around your mouth. So just like anytime you see a mirror, just like check up on your face, make sure you don't have anything, none of the crusties, none of that, like around your lips. And then I will also say like, if you do struggle with dry lips, try to exfoliate once a week. Even during the winter, I do even sometimes like twice a week. And I do it with like the some type of rock lip exfoliator. One thing I've been doing that has been really helping me is actually when I put on hyaluronic acid at night, I include my lips because I mean obviously it's part of my face but once I put it on my lips, it moisturizes it even more I include it on my lips and you'll see the biggest difference like pillow soft curls curls? am I good? pillow soft lips it's just always moisturized hyaluronic acid and then my patchology lip mask or like I used to use Laneige Aquaphor works but something where my lips are always moisturized first of all the road lip mask Hailey Bieber did something with this super moisturizing I wear this throughout the whole day and then the next one I recently got like a month ago is the summer Fridays with the poppy color it gives me like that kind of orange tint to it because sometimes i want color sometimes i don't but do you see the pigment already has my favorite 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 lip gloss just for the gloss part i don't think it moisturizes as much it still does like it's mostly for the gloss fenty heat clear glass slipper heat and it has to be heat because like it plumps your lips so that it looks red and it has color it just looks alive -bearing. one thing i'll say is it does not have to be expensive i love love beauty supply store lip gloss the one thing i will be honest though Beauty, beauty supply store lip glosses sometimes like create the white thing and then sometimes you know it doesn't last as long as all of these but that gloss that it has I'm like how come these like $50 lip stuff don't gloss like that but just take care of your lips it will help you look put together or just enhance your appearance even the days you don't wear makeup next thing I'll say is have a good scent and it could be your signature scent it could be just like every day you have a rotation like everywhere every day perfume your gym perfume your this 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 but having a good scent just levels up your confidence you smell good and you know that person that always smells good that could be you listen it doesn't even have to be expensive it could be body spray that you just constantly you know reapply your deodorant you know everything obviously shower and everything but get that signature perfume that's just yours what you feel comfortable what helps you feel confident i know when i wear some type of perfume I feel extra confident and I have like this one perfume I think y'all know by this but Chanel every time I dress up and I wear that 
it elevates my confidence. Finishing spray, like setting spray for my whole body. I feel ready, I feel put together, I smell good. I'm just that girl. But I'm really, really big on smells and just perfumes and I wanna have a huge collection in Jesus' name. When I get my big house, you best believe there's gonna be a whole shelf, maybe a closet, full of perfumes that I will even discover. Right now, if I would say like, Everyday gym perfume. My favorite one is the Rio Radiant Sol de Janeiro. This smells so good. It just smells like coconut. I don't even like coconut pineapple, but this, like on another level of like clean. You know, like when somebody just gets out of the shower and it's just like that body wash smell. It has this, but like almost tropical coconut. And I wear this throughout the day to the gym and it helps me feel so good because I'm like, I smell good. Yes, it doesn't have to be expensive, but I would say invest in at least one good perfume that lasts a long time. So Uda Perfume, Uda Toilette. Uda Toilette is like less intense than Uda Perfume. And then above Uda Perfume, there's like intense. There's a lot of perfume, especially Arab perfumes. They're not that expensive, but they last a long time. And it doesn't have to be an expensive perfume that only lasts a long time. Like there's Arab perfumes, there's other perfumes that you can find on Amazon. Just invest in a good perfume that lasts a long time so that you're not constantly reapplying when you go somewhere fancy or some big event or your birthday. Like you wanna smell good and you just don't wanna be constantly going to the bathroom like reapplying. So like for those special events, try to invest. Invest in at least one good perfume. My next tip I'm gonna say is take care of your under eyes. You don't sleep enough, when you don't hydrate it, nothing, you look tired. I'm the CEO of under eye bags. Not bags, but under eye circles. I'm pretty sure mine is genetics, but you know those days in college, I wouldn't sleep as much, I wouldn't take care of myself. There's some like patches of time I remember where I didn't drink water. On top of the genetics dark circles I had, I would get more pigmentation. And it just made me look tired. Everybody's like, are you okay? Why do you look so tired? Half the time, I don't wear makeup. And if you don't wear makeup, take care of your under eye. Sleep, drink your water, moisturize at nighttime. Take care of it. And also, another thing I've been doing is random days where I'm trying to film or do something and I have to go somewhere but I don't want to wear makeup at all, I've been getting peach tint concealer. So this one's from e.l.f. It was like $7 and it's just like, it's a peach tint and you put it right under your eyes and it's like kind of like a color corrector. So the days where you are actually feeling tired and you can't fix your dark circles in a day and you just need to cover it up. I just use this. It's very light. So when I put it on, you don't see the pink and it kind of cancels the dark circles right under. So like I just look more awake. Ola Henderson. This one is almost like, it looks like a lip gloss, but Right under, you just put it on, and this is like a more peach tint and not a pink tint. And so this one actually covers up my dark circles more, but it's just because of the color. It is more pricier, but I feel like this is like the application is nice, everything, but it does not have to be expensive. This one was only like $7, and I got it from Target, and I got this online. Go over it, and it would just like help me look more awake, and my dark circles look not as dark. But beyond that, that's just a quick fix, but for your actual under eyes, Make sure you're like taking care of yourself so that your under eye is not looking really dark. You're gonna look tired and you're gonna look a sad, sadness, whatever her name is. And if you actually struggle with under eyes, which I have for the longest time, since I was like 12, I remember, it's always been dark. I've been trying to research things for years of like how to get rid of it. I remember I used to put turmeric under my eyes just to fix the coloring. I found out that vitamin C is the answer. So vitamin C brightens up like any discoloration. The one thing is sometimes vitamin C burns. So if you put hyaluronic acid under it and then put it on, it will help. My next tip I'll say is always have your hair done. One thing about me, I rather have my hair done before makeup, before anything. If my hair's not done, I feel like I don't look put together. Imagine a crazy hair with a full beat. On the opposite end, imagine a, a like, you know, a slick bun. Everything looks good, no makeup. That looks more presentable than, like as an appearance to just look at then a full beat face with crazy hair and it smells bad. It's just, it throws off the whole look. Find out your hair type, find out what, what products work for you. If you have to do slick backs, because that's what you can do, go ahead, girl. Whatever makes you feel confident, you feel put together. And we do live in a world where it's just, we have to look good to get things, unfortunately. Hair is the first thing that's noticeable. When someone's looking at you, they'll look at your hair first because it's like on top of our head. You wouldn't show up to a job interview looking, looking this. You don't even have to put on makeup. Most of the job interviews, I think I've had like over five job interviews in my life, didn't even put on makeup and does not have to be in a salon. There's different ways. Like once you learn how to take care of your hair, 
then you could do it. And if you want to go to the salon every month, once a month, go ahead. If it helps you feel more confident, you'd rather get it done by some professional, go ahead, girl. Or even like weekly. I love changing up my hairstyles. I love braiding it, leaving it out. Just doing different kind of hairstyles. I want to get into wigs. Just different things I want to try. But I always want to make sure my hair is presentable. My hair is just, I feel confident. Especially when my hair is down, I feel the most confident. But before it used to be when I had a bun. So whatever helps you feel confident. Do that. Take care of your hair. My next tip is buy clothes that goes with your body, that goes with your body shape. Something that flatters you. We all have different bodies, so if you see something on a model or you scroll through like just different things online, the Zara website, whoever's in charge of it, I don't know, it looks like some high fashion. It's so hard to even look at the clothes because it's like, are we looking at the models or the clothes? Like, I love Zara and when I shop, I'm like, ooh, that might look good on me. I order the clothes, it comes, doesn't look good on me. We all have different shapes and bodies. And so like what I say is really look for it. If you have to return things, return it. Just try different things. I love online shopping and the worst part is that you don't know if it's gonna fit you or the right size. So like actually shopping in the mall most of the time might help. But another thing I'll say is I love baggy clothes. If you see my Instagram, my TikToks, different things, my get ready with me's, I feel most confident when I wear baggy clothes, when it's just things that's just like, since I was younger, I just love it. But there are times where I wanna wear something that's tighter, more flattering to my body, dresses, and those are the times where I will tailor the clothes if I have to just find something that's like very quality with those times where I need to wear it. I also think that it, it can be tailored with baggy stuff. Something that's not too too long. I make sure that my waist, it's tight and it's up there and it's not sagging. I feel like it's so important to have those type of clothes where brunch outfits, you have interview outfits, family function outfits, just different things where it's like that type of jean. You know those jeans that I'm talking about? Whatever jean that is in your head, make sure it's tailored right for you. Just like everything fits perfectly so that you know, it's flattering your body. Learn your body shape, what helps you feel confident in whatever you're wearing. And the next thing I'll say is modesty is key. For me, for what I believe, modesty is key. It helps me feel more present. Like it just helps me feel confident. And some people might disagree, but I go by that motto. And my last tip is take care of your appearance for you, not anyone else. Whatever makes you feel confident, whatever you wear, whatever makeup you wear. I just saw Love is Blind season five and if you're watching it, you know what I'm talking about. JP told Taylor like, you wear too much makeup for me. If a guy ever tells you that, but you feel confident in wearing makeup, do not listen. Ah, that scene got me so mad. Do things that make you feel comfortable. If you want to wear layer, like cake your makeup and you feel confident, okay. If you don't want to wear makeup at all and you feel confident that way, okay. And I remember when I was younger, people used to irritate me when people are like, ooh, who are you dressing for? I'm like, me? Like, do I have to go to an event? Take care of yourself. Just level up your appearance. Just whatever, just that confidence in there. If it has to do with like physical appearance to just help you oomph it, let it be. Don't let anyone tell you what to wear, what not to wear, especially a man. You know what's best for you. You know what fits you. You know what helps you feel confident. And just listen to that. Level up for you, for your confidence. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully these tips helped you. I enjoyed making this video because I feel like with the beauty part, I don't talk as much. Self-care, hygiene, I talk a lot. Hair, beauty is also another thing that's just like enhances it. And even me wearing makeup today, help me feel confident. Yeah, see. But thank you so much for watching and come again. Yeah, 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 yeah.